Okay, so here's another question from Tony. He says, um, Hi Kay, can you show me how to create an alert in trading view for the Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen, Gold Cross? Um, sure. You can actually um, put the alert on trading view on these um, angles of the Kumo, Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen, and also um, crossovers. So simply, you can come over to the Ichimoku and just right click on the Ichimoku here anywhere and press add alert on Ichimoku here. Just press that add alert and you see the pop up. And here you condition, you choose Ichimoku, of course. And he here you see these leads in, yeah, conversion line, baseline, lagging span, lead one, lead two. Lead one means single span A, lead two is single span B. So uh, you can you can put the conversion line. Conversion line is Tenkan Sen, baseline is Kijun Sen. So you can enable conversion line. And you choose crossing. You choose crossing up or down, like this. Let's say simply cross up and up or down, up and down. Then you can just press crossing. And then um, you can simply, I think you can, yeah, do it like this way. And when it crosses it, I think it alerts you. Um, yeah, so value, you have to put this Ichimoku also. You have to put the Ichimoku here. And this should be baseline. So uh, converge your line, cross over a baseline, and then you get the alert like in that way. So, and also you can put the alerts on any, any um, uh, lines on the Ichimoku, on trading view. So for example, if you choose lead one crossing and lead two, then this is Kumo crossover. Whenever the Kumo twist, that can alert you too on the trading view. And you can see the alert on the right side of the panel. If you can uh, squeeze my window like this, hold on, like this way. Okay, then you see the alert function here. If you simply press this one, then you get the alert. So this is one of the beauty about trading view is that you can put the alert on any crossovers, any you know indicators and signals. You can even put the alert on the on the lines itself, like trend line or horizontal lines. Uh, you can put the alert on the line itself or Fibonacci levels and you get the alerts when the price crosses um, yeah, these conditions. I think this is very interesting. This is very useful. And if you want to add the alert on, on a specific time frame, then before doing it, make sure that you choose specific time frame. Let's see if you wanna wait for the daily chart, cross over the Kumo, and then you just choose daily chart and then enable the alert in that way. Right click on it and choose add alert on Ichimoku and conversion line crossing and Ichimoku Kijun Sen and then you get the crossover with that. So yeah, you can you also use lagging span, lagging span crossing to Kijun Sen or a single span A or B like this. So uh, yeah, this is very handy. Or you can put the value too. Uh, let's say Chikou span cross over the previous uh, support level. In this case, let's say Chikou span cross over this level, 77.87, which is the previous support level here. Then you can enable the um, Chikou span, sorry, no. Yeah, it's a lagging span, Chikou span, crossing value, and 77.85, money put here, 77.85, four, and press, press create, then you get that art when the Chikou span passes that line. So personally, I don't really use the alerts because um, I simply don't want to be disturbed by the alerts when I do something else. So I don't technically use it, but uh, if you want to use, I think TradingView is a great tool. 
You can't do this on MT. MT4, MT5, you can't do it, but uh, you, can, you can do it on the TradingView. I think this is one of the greatest functions on TradingView. So, uh, yeah, I think that's nice. And also, if you see the price cross over the Kumo Senko Span B, you can set the alert too. So it's very handy and nice. Thank you for watching the video until the end, but before ending, let me briefly share with you one important concept of mine as a pro trader. That is, I am not focusing on one single trade result, but my main focus is a result over time. Because most of the traders only focus on one single trade result or a couple of trades results, whether it's a win or loss, and they tend to get emotional from trade to trade. And they don't really focus on the result in a long run. So remember to focus on your trades results over time, at least for a month, and don't get emotional by a result of one single trade. If you liked today's video, please press the good button and make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that you get notified as I keep uploading a new video or as I do the next live. So I wish you a great trade success on your way and I hope to see you on the next live or video. Alright, so until then, stay gold and... またね。